is a B, a 2.25 millimeter. This is a size one crochet thread. It's this basically the, the favorite size thread to use for tablecloths and whatnot. I'm gonna make a granny square. So I'm gonna start the same way, make a slip knot. You can really vary the hook size you use with this thread, of course, just like anything else. Um, but I do like using a slight, I, I like using a hook that's just large enough that I can see what I'm doing, but also not to make anything that's too lacy. So there's my chained ring. And here we go. I chain three, counts as a double crochet. I work two double crochet into the ring. And then I continue, chain two, work a shell. This is much smaller, so I know you won't be able to see it as well, but don't worry, once I get it made, I'll kind of hold it so you can sort of see what I'm doing. Just finishing this first row, and then I'm gonna hold it up so okay. people can sort of see it. Um, this is very small, so normally, yeah, look at that. Oh, let me get that little tail out of the way. Very adorable. That is a tiny row one from a granny square, but doesn't that look pretty? I feel like that looks so pretty. It already looks like a bit of a doily. So I'm gonna do row two. I'm gonna slip stitch across to that chain two space. Almost done. Okay, so that's row two. Shell, chain two, shell, chain one, and join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three. Got my little tail hanging out in the back there. Pull up on that loop, and I'm going to grab those. Oh my gosh, they're so small. I'm going to just pull them out with the actual crochet hook. There we go. Um, I'll add a third row to this granny square just so it's a little more visible. And then we're going to put like a, a just a simple little border on it. And this would work no matter how big your granny square gets. Um, the, the border you choose, if it works on a shell stitch or a multiple of three stitch kind of pattern, it'll work no matter how many rows you put on your granny square. So I'm just gonna go to three rows here just to make it a little, just a little bigger and a little easier to see. Shell, chain two shell, chain one to leave the corner. Three double crochet or one shell in the chain one space. Chain one before you leave. And then into the next corner, shell, chain two, shell, chain one. All right.
right, there's three rows of that little granny square. Gosh, that's cute. Let's just pull out my little corners. Do -do. Very, very small. So there's my little granny square. Um, I am going to put a scallop border on it because I think I like the way that looks. Um, I love how scallops just sort of finish off the top of a granny shell, just a mini little scallop. So this is what I mean by that. So I'm just gonna slip stitch into the corner because I wanna start in the corner. And all right, I'm going to start in the corner. I'm going to ignore the corner for now. I'm going to focus my attention on the shells and the spaces in between. So each shell is three double crochet. I'm looking at the middle stitch and I'm looking at the space in between. Into that middle stitch, I'm going to work uh, three half double crochets to start. Let's see how big this is. Scallops can change. Eh, we're going to make it five. Five half double crochets, that's a nice size. Five half double crochet into that middle shell stitch and then slip stitch into the space in between. <clears throat> Excuse me. Find the middle stitch of the shell and work five half double crochets into it. And once I get this side done, I'll just show you what it looks like. What is that? One, two, three, four, one more. And then slip stitch into the space. So that's five. I'm going to slip stitch into the corner. I'm ignoring the corner and then I'm working, continuing to work five half double crochets into the middle stitch of each of those shells across the side. And this turns into the cutest little slip stitch in between you see that little it's like it oh it's just so cute look how it transforms the look of a granny square all of a sudden you've got a little scalloped edge and it's starting to look a bit like a doily Hi everybody, Mr. and Stitches here. Thank you for watching today. Here are some of our other videos you might be interested in. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.